how do you interpret then sex, drugs, and rock and roll? What? <laughs> 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 Yeah. I was wondering how you, if you, how you comment on the fact that the Maraglim story is so close to the mitzvah of tzitzit, and that right, same, same parsha, same parsha right afterwards, and also like to, you yeah. spoke about tzitzit as sort right. of a, a breaking exactly. out, but it seems to me that the Maraglim stepped out of the tzitzit of Am Yisrael, or stepped out of the four corners of the camp of Israel, and in a sense the no, they want to return to the camp of Israel and stay there. The, 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 the no, but by separating themselves no, from, I, from, essentially, they, they separate themselves from the camp, in a sense, by, by, by you know, stirring up dissent and... Or no, but they were the mainstream. That, it was Caleb and, 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 and Yoshua that were the outcasts that separated themselves. Ten of them were, the majority were, they, they, they didn't say, that, that was, the, they said, let's stay in the camp. I don't want to go out. Yoshua and Kalev said, let's leave this camp and mm. break it up and move into Eretz Israel. But I think that's, it's, I think it's very, that's a very important point you just made. I mean, I talked about the Mirab Lim. Right, I didn't yeah. mention the fact that the parsha or the, tzitzit, or the section on the tzitzit is the end of the same parsha that talks about the Mirab Lim. But it's again the same thing. The, the idea of being able to break out of, of uh, the the, the Narrowness of thought of the triumph into the from Menachem Tzim the Rechov that that's what you're supposed to come to. There is Israel is to be able to see this wide creative encounter to the world and see and and um, and it sits up symbolizes that symbolizes breaking open this box and 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 moving out in in, in new ways in multiple ways. And I know that, that this is a talk in and of itself, but I was hoping that um, one of the things that you do in your book and, and that you do so amazingly in general is, is showing how, how digital consciousness is really moving oh. from, from the static of the Hellenistic to the dynamic of the break. Okay. Uh, what, I, yeah, uh, what, what Ariel is saying, that, that uh, I talk about this, these ideas about uh, creativity, about um, multiple directions, about, about uh, movement, uh, that all of these things are related to um, from, from an art point to the digital age which has these multiple uh, viewpoints I, 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 I mentioned it here uh, somebody mentioned about Marshall McLuhan or some, uh, you know Marshall McLuhan uh, who is the guru of, um, of uh, um, communications from the University of Toronto uh, he wrote the Gutenberg Galaxy Understanding Media the medium is the message is his term. This is, uh, um, and, and Marshall McLuhan, I mean, he, he, he was big time famous in, his, you know, uh, in the 1970s. And uh, best, his books were best selling books, uh, Understanding Media. Uh, as a matter of fact, he was in, in this movie, uh, Annie Hall, this Woody Allen movie. It was the one, <laughs> they're standing, standing on the line. Yeah, on the line. <laughs> yeah, they're standing, you know that? See, you know, you know, he's standing on line in the movie. Woody Allen standing on line in the movie waiting to go in to see a film. And he's talking to this other guy there about Marshall McLuhan's ideas. And they're having an argument about what his ideas are. And then the next guy in the line uh, behind Woody Allen's listening to this, con overhearing this conversation. And he says to them, you both guys are wrong. You don't got, you know, it's not what it is. This is what it really is. And they both get, they both get together now. And they say, who are you? What are you bothering telling us? Who, what do you know about it? He says, well, I'm Marshall McLuhan. <laughs> he really was Marshall McLuhan. <laughs> he, 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 he was the actor who played himself. <laughs> but, but anyhow, Marshall McLuhan was, and he, uh, when I, I was a professor, art professor at Columbia University at the time, and uh, Marshall McLuhan taught a summer course there, uh, came down from Toronto. And I used to go to hear, hear his lectures there, which was fascinating in many ways. But I disagreed with him on, on, on that. And I said, why don't you come to my office and, um, and, and uh, I'll, uh, I, I want to show you, because Marshall McLuhan's in Gutenberg Galaxy and in Outstanding Media, I mean, his whole thesis was that print technology limited the creativity of people. Print technology, because it's one way. If you take a book, it starts, 
you know, one word before one word, one sentence, one line, one paragraph, one page, and, and it becomes this one-way street. And people who, and it, like he says, that instead of being authoritative, books are authoritarian. And, and that they teach you to see the world in this one-way street. And people's creative vision is limited by learning print technology uh, destroyed the creativity of people. This is what his major thesis is. So I said, so I, I told him to come to um, to my office. Uh, I, I want to show him something. And I had, you know, Kimura in on my office. Uh, and if you if you take if you take uh, now now Jews used print technology within a decade of Gutenberg Galaxy. The first uh, books. Book published uh, was Mikrot uh, Gedolot, which is the, the, the Torah with Perishim all around it, with commentaries all around. The second book was this, this uh, the Gemara, which, which was print the the Mikrot the, Gedolot uh, was printed in Venice, and and the first Hebrew books were all printed in Italy, and this was the first Gemara was printed in Sacchino, Italy. But look what the Jews did; they took print technology and made multiple. There's a central text, the Gemara and the Mishnah, and then there, there's Rashi and Tosfot and all kinds of commentaries, hyperlinks to all different other books. I mean, here's your internet page. You know, I mean, here, this is this multi-directional kind of reading. You could read this sentence and then see what he says about it. This is a, a dialogue over the 2,000 years, you can argue with these all these guys here, and then you can go into other books. And I mean, here's your hyperlink. Here's your 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 your, your, your kind of look at look at the page design that, that was done within the decade of the first team, the first book of our movable type. And and when the Jews got typed, they changed the whole structure <laughs> and they made it it made it squirm this multi-linear kind of thing, this creative, interactive kind of thing. What's the, you know, and you got like, uh, it, it's kind of interesting, because I decided, you know, I, <laughs> when they sent me the galleys of my book, I, I decided I'd put in the book a page of Tomlin. Uh, uh, When they sent me the galleys, it was upside down. But <laughs> and I was wondering whether I should leave it that way. <laughs> and, and so you have, you have, um, you know, to show this multilinear thing. This is, but this is the internet. This multilinear hypertext kind of that one leads to the next, to the next, to the next, to the next. You never know where you're going when you start surfing. And 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 you know, and and it's interesting. They they, they refer to the to the Gemara as a yam. You know, you surf in the yam, you know, it's the sea, you know. <laughs> and uh, they use the sea metaphor for 